Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clint River Homestead. I'm John, and I'm down here with my friend Billy. We're waiting on a rock truck to come and bring us 20 tons of rock so that we can make a pad for our new garage that we just purchased. Welcome back everyone. We're now at the front of the property here. Oh, and make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. So you don't want to miss any of our future episodes. And if you really want to help us out, smash on that thumbs up button. So I thought I would show everybody where we're going to be putting the shed so you get an idea of where it's going to be placed. And this is going to be our temporary garage slash garden shed until we get our big one installed on the other side of the property. So right over here is where we're going to be putting a garage. It's going to be a 12 by 28 with a side garage door. So the garage door is going to be facing this way. And then all of this in here is going to be gravel. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing that is to give us a place to park um, because we don't want to block the entire U-shaped driveway. Well, I'm going to sit here and wait for the rock truck to come. As soon as he gets here, I'll bring you guys back and show you what we got going on. So while we're waiting on the rock truck, I thought I would just explain to everybody where we are as far as the build process on the house. So well, let me flip you around and show you what we got going on there. As you can see here, they've laid all the straw and seeded the yard, well, most of it. And they've also got all the gutters on the house, front and back. They've got our stairs in. Now these are temporary stairs. Now we walk around the side here, we've got the meter installed, so that's up and ready to go. And if we take a walk around back, got the AC unit installed, the back steps, and the gutters on the back of the house are done as well. So from the looks of things, I don't think we got much time to go before we're going to be moving in here. Guys just got here, so he's undoing the chains on the dump truck, and he's going to be pulling up here. And you can probably see him right behind me over here. By the way, Nicole's up here now. She's over feeding the donkey, or mule. everything looks like it turned out to be a success I just hope that this is enough rock now to level what we want out here and uh, we do have a nice pad now for uh, parking on so that's pretty cool all right so I'm gonna of course I, I need to flatten this out some but we're gonna have the parking pad here uh, most of this is gonna have to go right over in this area so I'm gonna concentrate on dumping everything over there then I'm gonna use the electronic level to try to level everything out so Hope everything goes well. I gotta go back and grab the tractor now, so. All right, let's see what we can get done. I got most of this here well flattened out I'm not gonna say level yet but I want to get out my leveler over here we'll just see how far off we are all right so it looks like the end over here I gotta pull some of this gravel over because it really dips down um, on the back side here so that's my goal right now Okay, so I got pretty much everything leveled out with the tractor and I went around with my stick to make sure that we were good and we're pretty much on the ball. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. 
So I'm just gonna go and take my rake and smooth everything out by hand now. Buddy, I was missing from the videos today. <laughs> well, you were next to the donkey this morning. Yeah. Or the mule. The garden shed will be here soon. That sounds too computerized. The garden so, shed will be here soon. Until then, we will catch everybody on the next one. Thanks for joining us at the Clinch River Homestead. Make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe and click that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. Bye. See you later.